chant that unites all of us, USA. A crowd in Georgia has now gathered and is into another chant, fight for Trump. As the president's supporters flock to the nation's capital in stop the steal and march to save America protests, they merge together today. Ahead of a larger rally that's planned for tomorrow as Congress will be meeting to certify the Electoral College vote. Right at the same time, Washington's mayor is now calling up the National Guard amid security concerns over the crowds, along with counter-protesters expected. Rich Edson is live for us in Washington with more. Rich, we've heard a lot of singing and a lot of things t today from that crowd. Yeah, Harris, you know, this isn't even supposed to be the main event. That's surrounding the events for tomorrow at Capitol Hill. But Freedom Plaza here in between the Capitol building and the White House on Pennsylvania Avenue is jammed with Trump fans. The program has just started today. Check it out here. This is what we've got going on here at Freedom Plaza. Uh, it started about 15 minutes ago. The National Park Service says... It approved a permit for what it's calling the Rally for Revival, running from 1 o'clock this afternoon until about 8.30 this evening. President Trump has tweeted that tomorrow he will be here for a historic day, part of protests surrounding the events going on in the Capitol building tomorrow, the certification, the counting of the electoral votes. Washington, D.C. has closed off much of downtown to traffic today, tomorrow, and the day after. It has warned people coming into town that firearms are not allowed in the city during these protests. D.C.'s mobilized the National Guard. The mayor says the Guard will not carry guns. Uh, they'll just help with crowd control and road closings. Now, for the last two Trump rallies here, you had one a month ago and the one the month before, they're mostly peaceful demonstrations here. And then afterwards, you had far-right groups like the Proud Boys, left-wing counter-protesters like Antifa looking for each other downtown, found each other, and people have been beaten up and stabbed, and there's been uh, all sorts of problems. So the D.C. Police Department is trying to avoid this this time around. The leader of the Proud Boys was arrested coming into Washington, D.C., and um, uh, that is expected to happen uh, in arraignment perhaps later today. Back to you. Rich Edson, thank you very much.